Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm the owner of Endless Creations and & Company and I'm creating this video to show you guys how I do my glitter epoxy pencil pens. Um, this is my very first video, I have no idea what I'm doing so just bear with me. Um, first thing we're going to start off with is our pencil. Um, I've already sanded and prepped this pencil. Um, you just do a light sanding, break off the clip. Um, I take my X-Acto knife and I just kind of cut off the remaining piece that's left on from the clip lightly sand it and then I use just a regular colored pencil. Um, a tip is to put some Vaseline on the pencil so that when you put it on um, the epoxy will not stick to the inside of your pen. The Vaseline helps that. Um, if you do get it inside your pen just take your um, X-Acto knife and just kind of go in there and just kind of scrape it out um, and that should work for you. Um, the color paints that I use for the pencil tumbler are here. So I use the, what is this? Prickly Pear High Gloss from Rust-Oleum. Sorry guys, let me see if I can, okay, there you go. Um, and then I also use the Rust-Oleum Metallic. And then we've got the yellow, which is a Marigold Gloss from Rust-Oleum. And then a Metallic Gold. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the painting. I start with the silver, metallic silver first. Oops, it's okay if you mess up. Like I normally try to just get a line right there. Um, I kind of got a little bit too much there, but that's okay because you're painting the other colors around it, so that's fine. The next one I do is the pink one. And I just lightly, lightly do a spritz around the top. Sometimes you have to go back over with the colors. Like I did a little bit too much pink on that side. I don't know if you guys can see very well. Let me turn this camera here. Okay. So see how there's a little bit too much pink there? You kind of want that much. Um, this is also just a guideline, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't sit here and spend forever. Um, but sometimes you might have to go over a couple times. So I'm gonna go over with that silver just a little bit right there to cover up that spot. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. Got lots of silver, just a little bit of pink, and then I'm gonna go in with the yellow. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. Again, it does not have to be perfect. This is just kind of an outline so that you know where to lay your glitter. Um, I pretty much go with the yellow all the way down to the bottom, and then um, I can just go over with the gold. There's the gold. I'm just gonna go back over um, with the yellow just so that's dominant. So this is what you're going to end up with. I'm going to let this dry for about 30 minutes and then we'll go ahead and glitter it uh, via the epoxy method. All right, we are back for step two. Um, we have waited for the paint to dry on the pens um, and now I'm going to glitter it via the epoxy method. Um, I have already mixed my epoxy. I use tumbler epoxy. It is amazing. Um, and let's just go ahead and get started. So I've already mixed it. You literally need a tiny, tiny bit. Like I already have some on my glove because I just epoxied some cups and I just use what I have left over 
to do my glittering. So my glove is already has just the epoxy left on it from me doing my cup. So just a very, very tiny bit of epoxy is on my, my glove. And I'm just gonna go through and you just want a very, very light coat, just enough for the glitter to stick to it. You don't want it to be too heavy. Um, you don't need to spin these. They're just literally replacing Mod Podge if you've never done it this way. But this is the only way that I will glitter. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much on your glove so the epoxy doesn't get in there, get all the corners. Make sure you get it nice and good. I go over a couple times. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with pink. Um, the pink is Pinkle from the Glitter Guy. You can also use Wednesday um, for Peachy Olive, glitter, peachy olive Glitters. Um, and I just kinda go where my pattern is. I just lightly sprinkle it on. I don't do anything super crazy heavy. So just the tip, right where your spray paint ends. And I tap it off real good. And put a little bit more right there. And I don't make sure they're like perfect, but I do make sure it's kind of even, you know, so I do more of like an ombre type thing, but I do make sure that I kind of have consistency across with the pink. All right. Next I'm using Peach Olive Glitter, which is 357 Magnum. I kind of tilt my pencil to the side and that way the glitter kind of just falls right at that angle. You just want to do it really slow, slow and steady. Tap it off. And we move on to the yellow. The yellow is also peach olive glitter, and this one is St. Jude. If you guys have never tried peachy olive glitters, they are amazing. My favorite. And then I kind of bring the yellow right over on top of the silver a little bit so it does a nice little blend. Right. 
And then last we're going to do is Peach Yellow Glitter Athena, my favorite gold on the planet. And we're just gonna do the tip. Again, just right at this angle, it'll just kind of fall, shake it lightly. And again, I kind of just go a little bit over the yellow so that I'm not missing any spots. <clears throat> now, this glitter is chunky compared to all the rest, which is thin. So it's very important that you pat it down or else you will have to do multiple coats of epoxy before you're able to sand. If you pat it down, it'll save your life. That is how I do my pencil pens, glittering via the epoxy method. I will let this sit for about two hours and then we'll come back and I will show you guys how I attach it to my spinners and just how I epoxy it pretty easy from this next step on. All right, we are ready to start epoxying them. This is the setup that I have going. Um, I got these pink pieces from Amazon. They're just cup holders is what I searched. Um, and then I just have my pencils wrapped around this little hair tie so I can just easily pull them on and off. And don't mind my messy workstation. I'm in the process of moving so stuff is messy. So I'm gonna start with this one. I just pull it off, super easy. It's still on the popsicle stick. I have Vaseline um, on the pencil so that it doesn't stick. And I just honestly use my fingers. I find it easier. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention and I did not record this was I um, sealed this with clear spray paint twice before I epoxied. So from the last time since we glittered them with the epoxy method, I let them sit for two hours and then I sprayed them twice with clear spray paint to seal the glitter. So if you look, there's none on my glove right now. Um, it makes it much easier So I just kind of give it one good layer. I have these crappy gloves on right now that are super big, so it's making it kind of hard. When I have my other gloves, I can kind of feel exactly where I'm going, but we'll make this work. Careful at the tips. And that's basically it. I put it back in my little hair tie holder and voila, and you move on. I've mixed about 30 milliliters of, of epoxy, which is probably gonna be way too much for all these pens, but I use the pumps, so this is the least amount that I can do. I normally try to do cups or other things so I don't waste epoxy, but that is pretty much it.
I won't bore you with the rest of this, um, but basically what I'm gonna do is just put this on, let it spin for about eight to 12 hours till tomorrow morning till I wake up. I will take them off. I will sand just around the tips and the ends. Um, I do water slides to apply my decals, so I do not sand the yellow part. Um, I just make sure that I get a good layer on right now so that it'll be nice and smooth. I sand down at the bottom, I sand at the top where the pink is, I might even sand the silver if it is bumpy for whatever reason. I cut out my water slide, I do them about, what, 3.5 by 0.4, um, and then I cut out the water slide, I put it on, I do one more layer, and then they are all done and ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will leave all the um, products I use, the glitter I use, um, as much information as I can um, in the details. And if you like this video, um, please continue watching. I'm gonna try to make more videos. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.